All right, so we have this function here, sine of x squared. You try to take the integral of it, pretty difficult. Uh, you can't just stare at it and go, oh, I know what, I know what the, the integral is. So luckily, we can convert it into a power series notation, make it a little bit easier. So we want to find the integral of, actually, I'm going to write that over here. The integral, sort of, of sine of x squared equal to the integral of this series from k equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the k times, and usually here for sine of x, it would be x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial, but now we have x squared, so we're going to write x squared to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial. We distribute, I'm going to rewrite that uh, as a summation. We have negative 1 to the k of x to the 4k plus 2 over 2k plus 1 factorial. Okay, so now, easy step, integrate. Write that right here underneath. So now we have c plus the summation from k equals 0 to infinity. of negative 1 to the k. Doesn't change, it's just a constant. But now we have x to the 4k plus 3 over 4k plus 3 times 2k plus 1 factorial. That's crazy. But that's part A. So now we want to use the third order Maclaurin series to approximate the integral from 0 to 1 of sine of x squared. Right, so if I were to just write out the first few terms of this as it is, we have c plus 1k is 0, this is 1. Then we have x cubed over 3 times 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, so that's 1 factorial is 1, so we just have x cubed over 3, minus the next 1, so that's x to the 7th over 7 times 3 factorial, plus x to the uh, 11th, 11 times 5 factorial minus, dot, 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 doesn't really matter. But, as you can see, just moving from k equals 0 to k equals 1 raised x's power from 3 to 7. Thus, for our third order Maclaurin notation, our approximation, we have, I'll write that over here, equal to, I'm going to drop this c because we're going to have our bar there that shows us the limits of this. So, well, this is not equal, it's approximately equal to x cubed over 3. That's it. From 0 to 1. And that is just 1 third. Minus 0, so it's 1 third. And this. So our answer for part A, C equals the summation from k equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k of x to the 4k plus 3 over 4k plus 3 times 2k plus 1 factorial. Our answer for B, 1 third.